for both of you, what was it about this character and script that attracted you to this project? And Margaret, maybe we can start with you first. When I first read the script, I was just so enthralled and intoxicated by the whole thing. Um, you know, Sasha, my character, is this fun, feisty little firecracker. Um, but she's also got a lot of heart. She's incredibly loyal. And, you know, she's in many ways the moral center of, of, the, of the first season. So um, it was really, really wonderful to tap into someone that dynamic and, um, you know, and also to portray a friendship this deep and lasting and nourishing um, throughout a season. You know, there aren't um, often pieces that uh, are about sex and sex relationships and stuff where women don't wind up becoming just catty little, you know, bitches at one another. And it was really important that that didn't happen with this series. And um, so, and it was really, really great to add this healthy female friendship uh, into the TV landscape. Yeah, the emotional journeys that each of the characters go through. And, and I just I remember reading it just incredibly relatable. Like, you know, ver whatever version of that you've had in your life, it's extremely relatable. And then the, the ability to play people uh, eight years in the past and then to present day and how they've changed and evolved and what, you know, regrets and what they've learned. And it's just cool. I don't think you often get the, the, the opportunity to do that. Uh, Margaret, this is your first series regular role. Uh, did anything surprise you about the experience? What was the biggest takeaway? I mean, the biggest surprise was a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> that came after my third day of filming um, and shut down our entire project. Uh, so I would say that was like that, that was the biggest wrench in the, the system that I could not have predicted. Um, but then, of course, the greatest blessing was the fact that Netflix decided to continue our process, you know, after five really gut-wrenching, traumatic, confusing, chaotic months, we came back uh, to Canada and we were supported by this incredible team of a crew and, and health and safety, COVID folk. And, you know, we were able to live out this dream in the middle of a nightmare. Um, so I feel just overwhelmingly surprised and elated by how, how well the process went and how fun it was to do. Yeah. And Adam, Stacey said in the past that she wrote this character with you in mind. Did that bring any pressure heading into this project? What was it like collaborating with her again? Well, I didn't know that. And I'm so glad that I didn't because the pressure would have been so huge. Uh, I know that, you know, we'd worked together before and I knew that she was uh, uh, creating this show, but I didn't know what characters were in, like they're in there or if there was anything that potentially I could play. And then got the audition and I'm like, damn, like I know I can bring something to this and, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, it, it works out and, and it did. So yeah, I'm extremely grateful. And she was so incredible showrunner on Unreal, but to see her uh, here in her own creation, it's just, it's mind blowing. I'm in awe of her. She's, uh, she's like superwoman. Both of your characters have such rich storylines throughout the first season. What was your favorite thing about playing your respective characters and what was the most challenging? Uh, I think a part of what was most fun about playing it, as Adam was mentioning earlier, is that we do get to go back and forth between uh, this past younger version of ourselves and then the present. So in that, that that created a lot of opportunity to, you know, just chart a beautiful arc and and to explore completely different like landscapes within New York, New York, Toronto. Um, and, you know, we, we got to have a lot of kind of like party fun scenes and then also a lot of really intimate, small, um, deep, scenes and so there was just such a plethora of play that we got to do because the show took place over this eight year span and that was really really fun it also made it super challenging <laughs> especially shooting shooting out of sequence you know sometimes i was just like when am i who am i 
Um, yeah. But but it was a wonderful you know challenge as an actor, and it's the kind of thing that you you dream to get to do. You know, really uh, push yourself push yourself and challenge yourself in this way. Oh my the the most fun and. Uh, is the was the most challenging it's the same thing it's trying to show brad's vulnerability like at a true form because he you know he has all these issues and it gets a little volatile and he's pushing billy away and so without uh showing that vulnerability and where he you know he's bearing his soul kind of thing um it's scary because if you don't do that then people don't understand why he's acting out the way he is but it's so fun because how like how often do you get the ability to do something like that